app. Which one? Bailey Zappi. He 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 has taken New England by storm. He has won his first two games as a starter, and everybody Wayne in New England seems to have this Zappi fever, except for Bill Parcells. Not Bill Parcells. Bill Belichick. My bad. <laughs> what is your temperature right now with Bailey Zappi? Do you like him? Do you hate him? Like, what are your thoughts? Yeah, it's it's got to be 104, 105 degrees. I need I need to go to the hospital because. <laughs> I am all in on Bailey Zappi. And listen, I have nothing against Mac Jones. In fact, I really loved the Mac Jones pick when they made it last year. I thought here's a guy similar to Tom Brady in the sense that he doesn't have a strong arm. He's a cerebral player. He's a game manager. And that's kind of what Bailey Zappi is as well. But these two guys are so similar, and yet Mac Jones couldn't get it the first part of the season. First three games of the season, he's one and two, two touchdowns, five interceptions. Bring in Bailey Zappi. He plays three games. And, you know, he's got 110 quarterback rating, four touchdowns, one interception, just had a 300-yard game against Cleveland Browns. I don't think that Bill Belichick needs to go crazy and come out and say, listen, we're going to start this guy for the rest of the year. That's a little too extreme. But start him against Chicago. See how he does. If he does well, start him the following week. And just play that hot hand week by week. Matt Jones has not earned the starting spot, like, a Drew Brees or somebody like that. He's a second year player. So somebody's playing better than him. He's going to sit the bench for a little while, maybe forever. But for right now, let's just play it week to week. Yeah. Also on the flip side of that coin, somebody that did earn their starting job in Drew Bledsoe, he got hurt, insert Tom Brady. And that's exactly what Bill Belichick did. He played the hot hand going into the playoffs and for the rest of the season with Tom Brady. Do you see Combs any different way that Bill Belichick will play this. Will Bailey Zappi be the starter moving forward until he proves otherwise? Buck, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago, and when it was Bailey Zappi about to get a, a chance, and I, I told you, I said, my exact words to you were, watch what happens here, because if Bailey Zappi plays well, this is Bill Belichick's second chance of having Jimmy G over Tom Brady. Now, I'm not comparing Mac Jones to Tom Brady, it's not even close. I Obviously, I understand that, right? But Tom Brady was a quarterback who Bill Belichick a couple of years ago, for whatever reason, I don't know why, wanted to go away from and he wanted to start Jimmy G. And he was not given that opportunity. They said, no, you're not taking Tom out of this. Bill Bob Kraft took that out of his, out of his hands and traded away Jimmy G. And... Bill Belichick loves Bailey Zappi, loves him. That's his guy. Uh, not sure if he had a whole lot of say in the Mac Jones pick. I mean, I can't imagine that he wouldn't because he's Bill Belichick. So I don't know what there is there. But for whatever reason, Bill Belichick loves himself some Bailey Zappi. And this is his second chance at a Jimmy G type story, right? This is what he wanted to do all along a couple of years back. And this is what he's doing again. Now, I'm not saying it's wrong or right, because look, I I would probably st stick with Bailey Zappi too. I mean, you're not, you're probably not competing for the division this year, right? The Buffalo Bills are too damn good. You're not competing for a division. The Jets are, are up and coming. I still think that they're playing above their board, but they are playing good football right now. And you got the Miami Dolphins, who if they can stay healthy and if Tua doesn't die the next time that he gets hit, the, the Miami Dolphins could be a nine to ten win team as well. So I like I like what all the teams in the in this division are doing, but I would you know, if you're gonna ride the hot hand, why can't you run a two quarterback system? What tells you, hey, look, if Bailey Zappi is playing really well, we're going to keep riding him until he's not. And then when he's not, Mac Jones can come in. And if Mac Jones starts underperforming, we'll put Bailey Zappi back in. Why you run a two running back system? Why can't you run a two quarterback system? Why can't you have a backup quarterback who has every bit of the capability of being a starter in the NFL? I understand what you're trying to say there, Combs, but Wayne G, if the New England Patriots were to run a two quarterback system, how detrimental to that team would that be moving forward? I think it's detrimental to any team. I mean, there's an old saying, and it's true today as it was when it first came out. If you have two quarterbacks, you don't have any quarterbacks. And so really, I think that they have to pick one guy and stick with it. I'm saying ride the hot hand right now because everyone's assuming your first round pick, the 15th pick overall last year, is going to be your starter. 
So it doesn't hurt if five or six games from now you bring him in because Zappi's struggling for two or three games. But you can't switch back and forth. It's got to be like, hey, we were riding the hot hand. Mac's healthy now. We're bringing him in. And then Mac is the starter for the rest of the season. Or you get to that point where you say, you know, Zappi's been playing great. He's our starter for the rest of the season. But you don't go back and forth like Flores did in Miami with Fitzpatrick and Tua. But is, is Bailey Zappi really playing well? Or is Bailey Zappi a product of the fact that he's played the Lions, Browns, and now probably the Bears, who are all three really struggling teams heading into them playing against the New England Patriots. The Lions, sure. Like I give the defense more credit for that Lions win than I do the offense because you shut down the highest scoring offense in the league, regardless of their record. They were still scoring at a 45-point clip. I said this a, a few weeks back, that they can score 45 points at will. They just can't stop giving up 48. And they went into New England, and New England just shut them down. I mean, just uh, zero points, shut out, shut out the best uh offense in the league but then you beat the browns and this week you're i mean you're gonna if you don't stomp a mud hole in the bears and it, it hurts for me to say that but that it, something's wrong right because you the the patriots should run rough shot over the Bears. i loved bill belichick's press conference today by the way it's being played all over chicago sports radio because he just named off our entire roster so it said how dangerous velas jones is when he has the ball in his hands the problem with that bill belichick is velas jones can't keep the ball in his hands he fumbles it every time they touch his hands so you know i loved what bill belichick had to say and it, it scared me even more the fact that he knows who these guys are and he's trying to talk them up like they're actually good shows me that he's going to attack and we're probably going to lose this game 77 to nothing. Any thoughts on that, Wayne? I think, you know, 77 to nothing obviously is a bit <laughs> hyperbole. It's, and they should win. They should. I, I know we were going to get, we're going to get to that, but I, I do think that they should win. As far as what you're saying about Mac Jones playing, uh, not Mac Jones, Bailey Zappi playing against three bad teams or two and a half if you count Green Bay as a bad team. Well, Mac Jones played against three bad teams to start the season, and he went one and two, and he had five interceptions. So I'm not saying that you know Bailey Zappi is great or amazing, but the fact of the matter is he threw for 99 yards, then 180 yards, then 309 yards. He's getting better every week. This is a guy who against Michigan State last year threw for 488 yards and three touchdowns with no picks. He can pass the ball. See, I disagree with you there. I, I, Mac Jones did not play against three really bad teams. Mac Jones played in Miami, a, a place where Tom Brady even struggled to win as a New England Patriot. Then they played against the Pittsburgh Steelers in Pittsburgh, who have a decent enough defense and should be able to compete with a lot of teams around the league. And then they played the Baltimore Ravens. So it's not like he the, he wasn't playing against like great team. Like he was playing against some really damn good teams. And the Miami Dolphins, when they're healthy, have shown you what they can do. And and Miami's a, a really tough place to go and win. And I know what I think that game was like a twenty to seven win for the Dolphins, but that's a tough place for anybody to win. I mean, you look at uh, the sidelines this past weekend. I saw a, sh a screenshot where it was uh, ninety seven degrees on the Dolphin sideline. It was one hundred and twenty seven degrees on the Viking sideline. Like it, it's it's a really tough place to win because that's a sneaky, sneaky spot where they have the their uh, their bench and the opposing team's bench, and that's something that, that a lot of players have talked about through the years. So I, I, I disagree with the fact that he's played against three really bad teams. He played against uh, three teams that are much, much more capable of, of winning than the three teams that Bailey Zappi has faced. So be, be, be well, you're free to... Sorry, Wayne, but before I before I, I let you jump, 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 jump in there, let's do understand that the Pittsburgh Steelers did not have T.J. Watt in that game. He got hurt that game, and the Baltimore Ravens do have historically the worst defense in the second half in, in the NFL right now. Go ahead, Wayne. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but I also want to point out that the Miami Dolphins, who, whatever you're saying, when they're healthy, that doesn't mean anything to me. What the Miami Dolphins are right now is the 23rd or 24th team in terms of points allowed. You know, if you look at the Steelers, they're 22nd or 23rd in points allowed. You're calling these good defenses. They're crap. You know, the Baltimore has a decent defense, but they're also in shootouts a lot. So Mac Jones had every opportunity to throw for 300 yards, just like Bailey Zappi, against teams that are comparable to what Bailey Zappi's played against, and he didn't do it. But... 
Thank you for checking out that man hour clip. Be sure to hit the subscribe and like button in below. And of course, share this with a couple friends. But if you like what you just saw, click right here to check out our latest video. And of course, click right here to subscribe. And as always, man hour nation, rise up.